New developments in a mystery that continues to stir intense speculation. Malaysia's Prime Minister has told CNN it's possible Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 was hijacked. That was more than five years since the plane vanished as it flew from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. 239 people on board disappeared with the plane and now presumed dead. The Malaysian government's role in the investigation is also under scrutiny. An article from the Atlantic magazine which is heavily critical of Malaysia's authorities. Sinan Sean Defterius has been speaking to the Malaysian Prime Minister and started asking for his response to the idea and perception that the investigation was bungled by the Malaysian government. I think not only Malaysia, but Australia, America and many other countries participated in the uh, search for debris and things like that, and they never found anything. The plane of that size with passengers simply disappeared. Mm. Uh, I think something has happened which uh, some people might know, but are not telling. Do you think you'll ever get to the bottom of it in your time in office? You know, I read, I read this Flight International, a very reliable magazine. Uh, in 2006, Flight International reported that Boeing was given a license to take over a plane in flight. That is reported. I'm not accusing Boeing, but the capacity to take over planes in flight is available, and somebody might use it. Maybe not Boeing, maybe somebody else. They can take over a plane, fly it to other places, and... So you're uh, suggesting that the system might have been hacked? It might be. It might be. Nowadays, you can do wonders with this electronics and uh, these, uh, the new devices that we have. But that's uh, cyber security broken in a, a massive scale, if that was the case? Well, it could be. It could be. Why not? We are, lots of things are happening today which we never thought of before.